Good evening. Hopes are fading tonight in the search for survivors after a fishing trip ended in tragedy in waters off Perth on Thursday. Two bodies were pulled from the water near Garden Island yesterday. Rescue crews say they still haven't given up hope of finding the other two men alive. Grace Fitzgibbon, there's been a large-scale search again today, but authorities still haven't found the fishing boat. Yes, Alice, the search for these men resumed at first light this morning with dozens of police and volunteers scouring a very vast area of ocean just to the west of Garden Island near where they recovered those two bodies yesterday. Now, family friends of the men say that they were experienced fishermen. They had all of the necessary safety equipment on board that boat and that the weather conditions were not especially treacherous that day. But at this stage, exactly what went wrong remains a mystery. A race against time, 48 hours after a fishing tragedy off our coast. Two men still missing after two bodies were pulled from the water west of Garden Island yesterday. It's more likely to be in the recovery phase, but we can't discount that someone could have survived this. Uh, but it, it, as time passes, it becomes increasingly less likely. The group, all family, had been on an overnight fishing trip off Rotnest. 50-year-old Yuok Pham, the boat's skipper, his brother, aged in his 40s, his 24-year-old son and 31-year-old son-in-law. They contacted family on Thursday morning but didn't return home that night as planned. A car and boat trailer left in the car park at Woodman Point, picked up by a family friend this afternoon. Look, we're hopeful. Um, you know, uh, what can you do, you know, we're just, we're hopeful and, and uh, we know that the chances are slim, but there is a chance. Anxious family and friends left guessing what went wrong. These guys went out quite a bit, you know, they're, they're experienced fishermen. Um, they did, they took all the safety precautions. Um, look, I don't know, it's a, it could be a wave. The boat called Yearboy still nowhere to be found. At this point, all we've located is debris consistent with coming off the vessel. There's been no trace of the vessel itself. Experts say water temperatures when the boat went missing would have been around 17 degrees and normally a person could only survive in those conditions for about three hours. When you go close to a reef, when you have a big swell running, you might have a big wave which might swamp it. But this is also the whale migration season, so you might actually also might encounter a whale. We're talking about 1.5 to 2 metre swell and a, I think it was 15 to 20 kilometre winds. So it would have been uncomfortable on a boat of that size, but not unsafe. And Grace, the search will resume at first light tomorrow. Yes, Alice, police have already scoured hundreds of square kilometres of ocean and they will return here in the morning to continue that search. Now, police are still appealing to any members of the public who may have seen that boat on the water on Thursday to help try and piece together what happened. The coroner's office is also investigating what went wrong and the fate of the boat will be dealt with at a coronial inquest. Alice? All right, thank you, Grace.